Good morning, everybody. It's midnight and beyond. Welcome to the finale of Daisy Party. In the last episode, we got through all of the modes in the extra room, or so we thought. Because in this episode, it's time to take on the star, which is shining like some kind of mean oil slick. What dastardly deed could he have in store for us? What evil plot, what menacing travesty could he possibly expect us to endure in the final episode of the LP? Well, get ready for the fight of your life because we must endure, encounter, and experience the almighty and dastardly Volleyball Tournament! Yeah, I don't know why the Zdar's in charge of the volleyball tournament, but whatever. We got a volleyball tournament in Beach Volley Folly. It's a two-on-two -two volleyball. Return the ball within three volleys. The first team to get five points wins. You move the squiggly thing, press the A button to hit the ball, and the B button to jump. I don't know why it's reversed like that, but whatever. Now you have two different modes. You have battle mode, which you go through, uh, I think this is the single player mode, and then you just go through, uh, sort of a tournament style thing. You fight all the characters that you don't play as. Uh, you pick a character for yourself, and then a character as a partner, and then go through all the other characters. And you actually get to face off against the show hosts, and then eventually Bowser as well. And then free mode, which lets you just go ahead and play with friends, basically. Now here's the interesting thing. If you get through every single rank in Beach Volley Folly, your reward for doing so is that you could actually play as the show hosts. So not only do you have the eight playable characters from the main game, you could also play as Toad, Shy Guy, Boo, Koopa, Koba Kid, and Bowser. So yeah, nuts to you Mario Party 10 saying you were so epic and amazing and interesting having the fact that Bowser was playable as your big advertising campaign be like, for the first time in Mario Party history, Bowser gets to be playable. He's the, the star of the show, whatever. Yes, stinking right. Mario Party 4 was way ahead of the game because you could play as him right stinking here in Beach Volley Folly. So that's stinking amazing. That like... It's sort of like how Pokemon Coliseum or Pokemon X and Y got advertised as the first 3D main series Pokemon games. Well, I don't know, I personally don't consider Coliseum XD to be a main series Pokemon games, but there are 3D RPGs that exist in general, but Nintendo still like pretends that they don't exist. Uh, we'll get into that in another day when we return to the Ori region, whatever that may be. But still, like it's just so sick and funny that like Nintendo advertise is their, they like they advertise their games in ways that uh, don't acknowledge the fact that certain other things in their old games exist. Like it's just thinking funny, but whatever. Uh, Toad, Boo, and Koba Kid do become playable characters in Mario Party 5, which is pretty cool. Shy Guy and Koopa don't become playable until Mario Party 9, uh, which is kind of lame. And then Bowser does not become playable until Mario Party 10 and uh, Super Mario Party. So let's see, who should we play as? So we're never gonna see. A uh, shy guy, unfortunately, because I'm not playing Mario Party 9, but we did get to see him in Mario Power Tennis. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go with Bowser, obviously, just because it's singing weird. I like his portrait as well, he just zooms in. Uh, should we have Koopa Kid or. I love Koopa, because, like, we're definitely not gonna see Koopa, and I don't think he's gonna have his own LP otherwise, so as much as I hate him, let's just go ahead and give him his own time in the sun. And he's on my team, so we're gonna make him super hard, or just regular hard. Uh, we'll put Koopa Kid on the other uh, team as well, and we'll make him easy. And, uh, we'll have Toad. I like that face. What did the other faces look like? That looks cute. And, that looks weird, I guess. We'll go with Toad, I guess. So we'll just go ahead and with a setup. And it's just real- are these settings okay? Apparently the Z-Tar, uh, still has the speech and kind of in it of the Thwomp and Womp. And, like, I know it's supposed to be Zdar, like a star, but, like, I always imagine, like, a Z and a dash and then Tar. Like, it's like an oil slick, so Z-Tar. I don't know, I just always imagine it like that. But whatever, we got Bowser and Koopa versus Koba Kid and Toad. Maybe it could be like Zatar, like, uh, oh, if you're wondering why Goomba isn't playable, it's because he's the referee. Also because he doesn't have any arms. <laughs> uh, let's see, so we gotta go ahead and, uh, jump, or you just press A initially. It's just so weird, I'm playing a stinking Bowser, just running around a stinking Bowser, so weird and I lost. Okay, cool. Uh, I forgot that B is jump, not hit the ball. Uh, hit that, and it hits for you, so it can be pretty fun. It gets very difficult in the uh, dual mode as time goes on. 
Uh, let's see, hurry up and hit that. Oh, I did the- I keep on doing B for jump. I remember it was like so stinking difficult to unlock all the playable characters and stuff. It's just so weird seeing like Bowser just run around and stuff. It's so awkward. But it exists. This is actually a thing that like many people don't even know you could do because like I'm sure anyone who played Beach Volley Folly didn't actually uh, bother to finish the dual tournament. They just go ahead and play free play for all eternity. And yeah, this is your reward. You get to play as all of the characters. Unfortunately, you, get, you can't play as them in uh, regular party mode or story mode or anything like that. That would have been fun, but unfortunately that's not the case. And uh, Koopa went out of bounds, so we wound up losing a point, which is lame. Uh, go ahead and hit that. Koopa hits down there. Uh, I think it's first to five points wins, so keep on doing that. Uh, we still have a chance, though. Let's keep on doing this. Uh, hit it over there. It's so weird, like Bowser gets to just play volleyball. He's having a nice little time playing volleyball with his friends. Uh, let's see. Come on, get it. Come on, go. There you go. 3-3. Three, three. We uh, even the score. Fortunately, we can't play as Goomba yet. I'm so excited that we get to play as Goomba in Super Mario Party. Of course, he's going to be my character of choice. I can tell you that because I don't know if I'm actually going to LP that game. Because the Let's Play limit is uh, probably not going to allow me to do so. Let's see, go there, boing, boing, banana. Sorry, I've been winning this already. Uh, it, or not. <laughs> I guess because we're Bowser, we're not allowed to win. Maybe that's it, because I'm Bowser, because I'm the bad guy, and I'm not allowed to have a victory. Well, I guess that's true. Koba Kid and Toad won. That's just so weird to see in Mario Party 4. But yeah, that's about it for uh, Beach Volley Folly. If you want to go ahead and just play this over and over for all eternity, then you can. But I do not, so let's go ahead and get out of here. And yeah, now that's taken care of, we have done everything in the extra room. So the only thing left for us to do is check out all of our presents in the present room. Not just our presents, but the presents for every character in the game, because I went ahead and got them all unlocked for you before the LP even began. You better appreciate it! Oh, welcome, you're in the present room. Just so weird that Shy Guy's all alone. I'm sorry, buddy, I know it's awkward, but I believe in you, you'll do your best and stuff. So yeah, as you get to see all the little present uh, tables, all the little houses that you get unlocked for you uh, by clearing story mode with every character. So let's go ahead and down the line, start with Mario. And they actually do have really funny descriptions as well, so it's really funny. Uh, we got, this is Mario's sofa. He folds it out into a bed when guests come, how nice. Uh, this is Mario's doll. He's everyone's favorite hero, even Luigi's. <laughs> Love the Luigi shade, as always. This is Mario's refrigerator. There's always leftover pasta inside because he's a Mario. This is Mario's television. It rarely works, but he rarely uses it. Uh, this is Mario's table. It's very cute and round, just like Mario. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got over here. This is a Bowser vase. Flowers always uh, seem to wilt the moment they go in. But what about a fire flower? You think that would work? I don't know. But yeah, those are all of Mario's presents. Over here we got Luigi's house. This is Luigi's table. It's fashionable, but not very functional. Like Luigi! <laughs> oh my god. This is Luigi's chair. It's not very comfortable, but it sure looks neat. This is a Luigi doll. He's the world's most unlikely hero, and Mario knows it! Wow. This is Luigi's dumbbell. Luigi can't actually lift it. It's just for show. This is Luigi's air bike. It shows you how many calories he's burned. Zero. My god! And this is a Bowser television. It only shows infomercials. Evil! I like how all of Luigi's presents, like, the story mode is about the character's birthday, so for his birthday, Luigi just got a bunch of ugly presents and presents he can't use because, like, he's too scrawny to use them and stuff. And then a TV that only shows commercials. It's singing funny. Uh, making fun of Luigi's always a good time. I think the house is actually modeled after... Uh, I don't think this looks too similar to his house in Paper Mario, but that would be actually an interesting homage if that's what they were going for. Or maybe it's his house in Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix, which doesn't exist yet, so I guess not. Uh, maybe this is Luigi's Mansion? I like to take the camera around and see what it looks like. Part of me thinks, because there's like so many parts where I'm talking about t uh, turning the camera around, I might contact Boundary Break and see if he'll be willing to offer some footage for this LP. That'd be amazing if he would be, but I have no idea. Uh, this right here is Peach's Castle, obviously. 
This is Peach's chair. It is gorgeous and refined, just like Peach. Yeah, you're right. This is a Peach doll. It looks just like our lovely danger-prone heroine. Uh, unfortunately, you can't have the um, you can't have the objects do their little animation like they did when we first obtained them. So those animations are exclusive to story mode, which is very unfortunate. Uh, this is Peach's table. It's perfect for afternoon tea and scones. Mmm, scones. This is Peach's clock. It was bought the day Peach was born, but they waited until now to give it to her for her birthday. Okay. This is Peach's treasure chest. It's where she keeps all of her coins that she steals from people during Mario Party. And finally, this is a picture of Bowser. Koba Kid made her hang it up. Ugh, was Koba Kid like a roommate of hers that lives in the castle? Okay then. Uh, right here we got Yoshi's house, which is uh, shaped like the hills and also uh, hills of Super Mario World, but also just sort of shaped like Yoshi's head. Uh, this is Yoshi's egg. It looks like it's about to hatch, but what's inside? He got a... Uh, for his birthday, they gave him his unknown son. Cool. Uh, this is a Yoshi doll. I like the Yoshi doll the most. Looks adorable. Isn't he just the cutest hero ever? Well, isn't he? Uh, this is Yoshi. These are Yoshi's shoes. It looks like they are just polished, shiny. Uh, this is Yoshi's computer. It looks goofy, but it's really top of the line. I like how Yoshi gets a top of the line computer, but he's a stinking dinosaur. And then Luigi and Mario get crummy televisions that they can't even use. Uh, this is a Yoshi table. It's mostly used for serving fresh fruit. And this is a Bowser lamp. It shines with with an eerie, sinister light. So hypnotic. Over here in Wario's house. Looks very stinking cool. Reminds me of Wario World. Uh, his awesome palace in that game. I don't know if that game existed before this one, though. Uh, this is a Wario doll. He might be a little too disgusting to be a hero. Wow, rude much. This is Wario's chest. Sure, it looks flashy, but it's totally empty. This is Wario's motorbike. He lost his license, so he's not going anywhere. This is Wario's recliner. It's got a vicious massage function. And my personal favorite item, this is Wario's hamburger. Wario can polish it off in one bite. Just a giant stinking cheeseburger right in the middle of his house. I, I think I love it. And this is a Bowser clock. It's always 13 minutes slow. Freakish. Uh, this right here, the Party Star Trophy, you obtain this trophy for getting every single present in the present room, so uh, this is your sign for true 100% completion in Mario Party 4. Unless you're like me and still haven't gotten very hard mode unlocked. Whoopsie Daisy! Uh, speaking of Daisy, I guess not speaking of Daisy because she's not here yet. Uh, this is Donkey Kong's room, and it's designed after, I guess, his house from Donkey Kong Country. It's kind of weird now that we're going through here, uh, all the characters do seem to have signature houses of some kind. Uh, except for the ones we're about to see, <laughs> they just thought about that. Oh, uh, this is Donkey Kong's barrel. It seems to be empty right now. Poor DK. Wow, they gave him a barrel for his birthday, but no bananas inside. How lame. Uh, this is Donkey Kong's tree. He takes good care of it. This is Donkey Kong's box. It contains Donkey Kong's treasures. This is this is a Donkey Kong doll. He's our hero from the jungle. This is a Donkey. This is Donkey Kong's stand. It could hold up to five bananas. So they gave him a box and a barrel for his birthday. How lame. And finally, this is a Bowser object. It's quite, um, eye-catching, but what is it? <laughs> I have no idea. I guess they just ran out of ideas at the end. Over here in Daisy's room, we saw this one already, but we're gonna go and see the descriptions. This is a Daisy bed. It looks hard, but it's got a really good, fo it's really good for the spine. Also, I just realized doing Daisy on hard was pre-determined, uh, or it was foreseen in the past of Mario Party 4. Interesting. Uh, this is Daisy's side table. Don't peek in her journal, she won't like it. Even though the journal is just a Japanese box art of Mario Party 2. Uh, this is a Daisy doll. She's our fresh-faced heroine. Ooh, burn on peach. Uh, this is Daisy. These are Daisy's flowers. She picks them herself. She picks them herself, yet they took them from her house and gave them to her as a present. Okay, then. This is Daisy's table. I think Goomba made it for her. And this is a Bowser teapot. It bubbles like magma. Mmm, delicious, delicious magma. Uh, I don't know, like, it kind of has, like, the Sarasaland feel of, the, like, the shape of the roof, kind of like the Arabian Nights sort of thing. So maybe that's where the inspiration came from. As for Waluigi's house, uh, they have no way. Oh, I could see the Waluigi symbol up on the roof, so I guess that's where they got that design from, so that's pretty interesting. So they did have some ideas when going through here. It's not like they just had a menu that, for us to look at all the presents of just like a bunch of 2D images or something like that. No, they put an actual effort, unlike a certain other game that I will not mention anymore because I'm sick of mentioning it. But whatever, this is Waluigi's shelf. It seems to be in, uh, in good repair. This is a Waluigi calendar. Every day is Sunday? Nani? Uh, even though it says that, if you zoom in on it, you could actually see that it's just a regular calendar for January 2002. Interesting. Uh, this is Waluigi's chair. It's simple, functional, and tricky. 
This is a Waluigi doll. A doll Luigi? Her <laughs> her It looks like it's plotting an evil new scheme. Uh, this is Waluigi's shower. It has good pressure and spits flames. And this is a Bowser bath. The water is always 1000 degrees. Waluigi bathes in boiling hot water and showers in fire. No wonder he's so skinny. That's why I call burning calories. Her her her. And finally, this is the special house that uh, gets you mini game presents. You get these things for clearing certain things in certain areas in the game. So we'll go through the descriptions real quick. Uh, this is a toad plate. It's perfect for every occasion. This is a Goomba uh, plate. It flies when you throw it. Okay. This is a Koopa plate. It's as polished as a mirror and as hard as a shell. This is a Shy Guy plate. It possesses a mysterious shine. This is a Boo plate. It usually holds blood oranges. Her her her. And up here, this is a Bowser plate. It's perfect for a burnt steak. Uh, this is Toad's teapot. It's easy to use and holds lots of water. Uh, this is a birthday cake. It's covered with sweet, yummy frosting. This is Toad's teacups. They're made in. They're made of fine Mushroom Kingdom porcelain. This is Boo's picture frame. It holds quite a spirited picture. Tee hee hee. And over here, this is Goomba's clock. It gains about five minutes every day. Okay then, I don't know what is with all these presents having crummy clocks, but whatever. Uh, the way you get all these items, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, for the Toad Plate, you have to earn... Uh, you need to clear the 30-piece Jigsaw Jitters in less than three minutes. For the Goomba Plate, you need to uh, get through at least 15 or more pages in the Challenge Book Squirm. For the Shy Guy Plate, you need to... Uh, get through dungeon duos in less than a minute and 40 seconds. For the Boo Plate, you need to stay underwater for more than 7 seconds in Take or Breather. Uh, for the Koopa Plate, you earn by uh, finishing right or left in less than 45 seconds. The Bowser Plate, you get that by completing Mario Medley in less than 60 seconds. Uh, the Toad Teapots, you get that by finishing the 30-piece Jigsaw Jitters in 2 minutes. The birthday cake you get by clearing the entire tournament in Beach Volley Folly, as well as all the um, unlockable characters that you can play as in free mode. Uh, the Goomba Clock, you get that by knocking down 100 dominoes or more in Domination. Uh, the Boo's Photo Stand, you earn by reaching the goal within 10 seconds in Mario's Speed Wagons. And the Toad's Teacups, you earn by clearing 20 pieces. And the Toad's Teacups, you earn by finishing the 20-piece Jigsaw Jitters in less than a minute. So that's how you get all of those, but there's one more thing for you to look at, and that is the sky. You go up here, just turn the camera up, then you can see all the constellations that you got. As you remember, the star was our final uh, friend at the end of the adventure in story mode who gave us our final present, and that present was a constellation of the hero who saved the day. Or just saved their presents from Bowser the Party Crasher, whichever you want to think of it as. So there's no final constellation up here, it's just like a blank space, but whatever. Uh, normally, if you look up here and there's no constellation here, it would just say it's a, a nice starry sky or something like that, but this is a Mario constellation, the Luigi constellation, there's Peach and Yoshi, there's Wario, there's Donkey Kong, I kind of wish his tie had the DK, but whatever. There's Waluigi, and of course, there's our main character and Princess of Sarasaland, Daisy. But with that, that is all there is to show in Mario Party 4. I really, really love this game. It is my second favorite Mario Party game, and one I had a really fun time getting to play right now. A lot of good times were had, but it's finally time to say goodbye. We've done everything there is to do, and now it's time to head off someplace else. Like I said, my next Mario Party Let's Play, which is coming next year, will not be Mario Party 5. I'm going to be saving that for my last Mario Party LP because it is my favorite Mario Party game of all time. Next year we'll be doing Mario Party 6, which is not one of my more favorite ones. So maybe I'll be bringing on guests for that one because it is uh, just not the most enjoyable time for me? I'm not really sure. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm glad I finally got to do a Let's Play dedicated to Princess Daisy, she's always just been one of my more favorite minor characters. A character that became sort of annoying in later uh, Mario games because her voice actor got switched around and became a lot more peppy. Um, I like the sporty personality, it's just that the voice is just like, I'm not a big fan of it. I do appreciate that's different from Peach's, but I'm very much a big fan of her Mario Party 4 voice, and I'm glad that we got to experience this game together from beginning to end with a very cool, collective, and 
some other C word, princess. One last time, thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Mario Party 4, aka Daisy Party. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Sweet dreams.